Hey everybody, this is Willie from Wild Academy and today's topic right is how should I train my VAs effectively? So I used to do like, you know, PowerPoint presentation. I used to actually do up, uh, you know, SOP via Word document and all that. So, so far for the past uh, many years, right? Uh, you know, especially the days when I first started, I actually use video training. All right, so how do I do that? So let me just illustrate for you. So let's say, for example, if you are training somebody to be a product researcher, so this, uh, you know, this somebody is a product researcher. Okay, that means, uh, you know, somebody who actually uh, help you to find products on Amazon itself. So I'll do up step by step video. So step number one, maybe this video is about, you know, uh, going into Amazon for product ideas okay then step number two this is another video that talks about you know uh, a price analysis right price analysis for example okay and step number three okay then if the if the va right is very proficient in this okay so what i'll do right i'll go step by step that means the VA must be proficient in video number one. Okay, so you can actually do up, uh, you know, an, an Excel sheet. Okay, an Excel sheet like this. All right, and uh, you know, step one. Then the VA actually fill up all the information over here. Step two. The VA fill up all the information over here. All right. So step one will be from the video itself. Okay. So I will not go into step two, right? Until the VA is very proficient in step one. Okay, until the VA is very, very proficient, then it will be step two, all right? So step two will be, you know, from from the work over here. Okay, will we'll be a carryover from the, from the work that this VA has done, okay? So eventually this VA will be doing, you know, step one, two, and three eventually, all right? Okay, all in all. But of course, the first step is to get the, you know, video number one right first, then you check. So normally, right, I'll do this for, like, say, for example, I'll do this for one week. Depends on how difficult the task is, but normally it'll be for one week. Then after that, it'll be uh, one week for this or so, one week for this or so, right? Okay, but you may say that, hey, along the way when, you know, this VA actually generate the, you know, the data over here, right? Okay, let's say it's for product research. And this VA, right, might have, uh, you know, lesser, lesser, you know, work over at video one, okay? So eventually, right, the VA will do, you know, task number one, task number two, task number three from video one to three, okay? So, you know, long story short, you must make sure that the VA is stable in its foundation first. That means the video one is stable, know what he or she is doing, then go into video two. Okay, then eventually when this VA is stabilized in video two, then go into video three. Okay, then eventually, let's say for example, this is, uh, you know, this is video three. So eventually, right, this VA is able to do one, two, three every day consistently. This is what you want, right? And I noticed that by training VAs with video explanation is much faster and it, re it further reinforces your knowledge and idea in regards to this business itself. Knowledge and experience. Because if you are able to coach somebody in your business, you can coach somebody, you know, um, you know, when you are doing your business, you're gonna understand this business much, much more. All right. And the other thing is that, you know, how do you actually allocate tasks? Allocation. Okay. So you gotta ask yourself, you know, what is the things that I'm doing in my business right now as one person? You know, because a lot of you guys, right, when you're new, you're going to do everything yourself. Like, let's say, for example, like just now I mentioned product research and all that. So you can list down all the things that you are doing right now. Okay, like let's say, for example, the first thing is product research. Number two, talk to supplier. All right, number three is, you know, uh, get quotation okay get quotation number four then you got to do up the social media of course you got to do up the product listing and so on and so forth right 
product listings, okay, so and so forth. There's a lot of things for you to do. So you could ask yourself, you know, these are the things that you have to do. And, you know, are you able to actually outsource this kind of things to other people, especially if like, for, for example, for product research? Are you able to outsource? Yes, you can, you can outsource. Once you have done maybe once or twice, then you can actually outsource this kind of things to other people. All right. And are you able to actually, you know, get somebody to look for suppliers and talk to suppliers? Yes, you can. All right. Then are you able to actually get the same person who is talking to the supplier to get quotation? Yeah. Why not? Okay. And are you able to actually get somebody, right, who is doing the product research to actually do your social media? So that means, you know, set up your Facebook page, um, uh, post uh, your first post, first comment, or rather first post, um, or rather post about your product on your social media, on IG, on TikTok, on Facebook. You're able to do that. Right? Maybe not the product researcher, maybe somebody else who is, you know, who is also doing the product listing. Right? So sometimes you can mix and match. The person who is doing the product listing can talk to the supplier because these are the things that can match. Right? The person who is doing the product listing will know more or less what, what is the product all about and is able to talk to the supplier. So all you need, right, is just you know adequate training over here. Okay, so of course, step by step, then along the way, you can ask the VA, say that, hey, you know, are you able to help me to do this? Are you able to help me to do that? All right. So you may say that, hey, you know, so many things for this VA to do. Is it fair? Right. So what's the reasonable amount of work for VA? So let's say we talk about product research. Everybody knows about, you know, when you sell on Amazon, you need to research, uh, research about products. You need to, um, you know, pull up the FBA calculator and see whether... Are you able to make a profit from there? So using product research, right? You're gonna ask yourself how long you take to complete okay task maybe task number one. Alright, so task number one I talk about from here. Okay, I talk about this, the first task, which is to find Amazon product ideas. Okay, so how long it take for you to do that? Okay, maybe you, you can say that, hey, maybe I take about, you know, over here, I take about uh, one hour. Okay, to do, to actually must, or rather to do, you know, task number one, right? Okay, it takes one hour for me to uh, to look for five product ideas, okay? One hour to look for five product ideas, right? So if it takes one hour to for you to come up with uh, five different product ideas, right? Then maybe you can tell your VA, hey, you know, I know you are new, all right? Then you can take two hours, okay? But eventually the task, the goal, is for them to reach below one hour, all right? Because you do not want to hire anybody who is uh, slower than you. Uh, you do not want to hire anybody who is less efficient than you. You want to hire people who are more efficient than you, all right? So initially, of course, during the first maybe one or two weeks, this, this VA is gonna take maybe two hours to find five product ideas. But eventually, this VA will be able to reach maybe five product ideas in about maybe, uh, you know, 45 minutes or 30 minutes, okay? And along the way, right, this VA is going to be even better than you, which this should be happening, all right? Which this will happen, okay? So the thing is that, you know, no such thing as reasonable amount of work, all right? So how to be reasonable, how to co actually compare? You could ask yourself this question, how long it will take, how long you will take to do the product research, okay? If you take, you know, if you take one hour, you cannot, you cannot ask this VA, right? Okay, to actually complete this in 10 minutes. No such thing, right? Because the VA is less experienced than you, okay? All right, so I hope this video, right, will give you some kind of insights about, you know, how should you train your VAs effectively, all right? See you in the next video.